morning I turned on the news and was able to see the press conference. I think it was from yesterday with Ron DeSantis, the governor of Florida, and a couple victims of Jeffrey Epstein. And yesterday, the governor, Governor DeSantis, signed the bill into law allowing those victims to get the grand jury testimony from a case that went to the Florida grand jury um, back in 2006, I mm-hmm. believe. So a lot of people don't understand. This is a really significant development, not only in this case, but uh, criminal law in mm-hmm. general. So the grand jury is supposed to be the gateway to a criminal prosecution. And in the Jeffrey Epstein case back then, they did not arrest him. So you can typically, a criminal defendant is arrested. Mm -hmm. They go to a court and the case is then presented to a grand jury to see if there's enough basic evidence for that case to proceed into superior court, whether that be state Supreme Court or something to that effect. The alternative to that is what is called a sealed indictment. And that's what happened to Jeffrey Epstein back then. Instead of arresting him, the prosecutor went directly to the grand jury and they called witnesses. And the grand jury, which is in New York, it's 23 people from the county. Mm -hmm. They voted by a majority to indict him on certain felony charges. There was also a federal investigation back in 2006 through 2008. We're gonna link to the memo here. This is the November 2020 memo from the Department of Justice. And eventually a deal was cut back then. That's all in the memorandum, you can read it, about if he pleads guilty in state court, we're not gonna prosecute him in federal court. That's what happened back then. Um, He was then indicted in a different sealed indictment in the Southern District of New York in 2019 for acts that actually occurred between 2002 and 2005. And that's all explained in there. What happened in this case, or what happened yesterday was, all these victims wanna know what happened in the grand jury. Well, grand jury is secret proceeding, and the Florida State Legislature made an amendment to the law, and it's called, we'll link to it or, or post it up here. It's HB House Bill 117 from the state of Florida. And you look at paragraph 2C, and what it says is, if a person's dead and the investigation had to do with sexual activity of minors and the testimony was disclosed by court order and you put the state attorney uh, on notice, then you can get the transcripts. And, And it's very difficult to get grand jury proceedings. This is a significant change to the law, and it's it's a way for true victims of sexual assault to get more information about what may have happened to them. And here we're looking at 18, 20 years later. So this is now going to be public for, what's the purpose of this? I think what Governor DeSantis said was, it's so the victims can get more information about what happened to them. Um, People have been in counseling for years. They may have civil suits against the Jeffrey Epstein estate. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know the reason, but people can talk about, is that a good thing? Um, generally grand jury is private but secret it's not supposed to be where you have a trial it's supposed to be a threshold point in a criminal case Mm -hmm. but here what we're saying is in these very unique circumstances and these are clearly tailored to Jeffrey Epstein we talked before we started this is this going to apply to anybody else I'm sure at some point it may but not a lot of people right so you have politicians that can agree that under these circumstances we should give this information that we know to fix uh to victims so that they can move forward both emotionally and potentially in a civil case. Yes. So what do you think if this is helpful to other cases? Like, should this law be applied to other states like New York? Like if New York made this a normal law that this could be public information, is this helpful to the justice system or not? I think it's it's an interesting conversation about who should have the right to information? And the right to information is something that we we talk about in society all the time. And this is a very specific group of people. And it's hard to say why this group of people shouldn't have this information. Do I think it's perhaps a step for other victims, um, true victims of sexual assault, to get more information? I think that is um, really potential for this. And I think you'll see maybe some other people take a look at legislation kind of like this.